Hey guys, welcome back to Gas Tax. I'm Warwick, and today we're doing another unboxing. This is the Obsessed Garage package called the Kersher K1700 Cubed Portable Solution. There is another solution that's about $800. This is $600 that comes with a wall crank for the hose. But I have no way to put that here, so I decided I'd go with this. If I decide I need the wall crank, I can always buy that separately. But let's jump right into it and see what this kit includes. I can't tell you how nice it is having these Sonic tools behind me. Um, where everything is exactly where it should be. You know, half of, well, 99% of efficiency is knowing where stuff is. Um, and the solution that uh, Sonic has offered is really amazing. Oh, I remember a video <laughs> where Matt Mormon is uh, bitching about don't call him if these things break. The first thing you see when you open uh, this is the warranty card, three year limited year, three year limited warranty. So make sure you fill this out and send it in. It's simple, so I will do that. Um, so I don't get yelled at by Matt. So there is a, a kit that doesn't have wheels, or the K1700 that doesn't have wheels. This is the cheapest or one of the cheapest pressure washer solutions he offers on his website or Seth Garage offers on their website. Um, I want wheels. I have other things I need to pressure wash that are not by my garage. Uh, so that's why I figured I'd get the one with the wheels. Um, and they said this is, you know, the best bang for your buck. One day my ultimate goal is to build the 15, 20 car garage with a detailing station in there. Then I'll do a proper pressure washing solution. But until then, this is my solution. So there is a pressure wash handle gun um, that comes with this. I think inside the kit here is actually what uh, obsessed garage recommends which is different but I don't know we'll find out the good thing with obsessed garage is it's a mindless purchase because you know they've thought of everything and you don't have to go in and research I mean obviously do your own research but it's nice knowing that everything they order for car cleaning and washing has been thought out and uh, you don't have to overthink it. If you trust the man then your buying decisions are much easier. Granted it's still money and it's not cheap but convenience is not cheap my friends. Convenience is not cheap. All right, so let's assemble this quick. Oh, me and my sweatband. I don't like uh, ruining hats with the sweat marks, so I start with the hat and then I take it off and get down and dirty. So here's the washer. Let me open this box to see what's inside there. Always be careful when opening boxes, especially with pipes and using an X-Acto knife. Last thing you need is to uh, score a pipe or touch a pipe. All right, so this is a heavy duty pipe from Faucet. Luckily, I have my faucet right here. It is a out, I have a, what's it called? Hot water, that's good. So it's nice to have hot water outside. I have a boat and when I do the winterization and the, the fall cleaning, it is normally cold because I leave the boat in until the last minute. And it's nice to have warm water. Oh my goodness. No joke, huh? 
All right, so what we have in here is, as I suspected, uh, a one, the Matt Mormon design one with a quick release, so that is wonderful. Um, this is what you pay for. Oh my god. This is half the size and four times as heavy. So we got quick connect here. Um, wonderful. And I got the swizzle, swivel, swizzle, swivel bracket there because one thing with pressure wash cords is they are so uh, tight that uh, it's annoying. I did get the, the optional quick connect for something. I can't remember exactly what, uh, but it, he has lots of options on the website. He shows the price. And then he says, if you want X, Y, Z extra, it is an option. All right, camera died. Let me place the battery real quick. All right, sorry. So my battery is died on my main camera there. So I'm going to keep using you. All right, hose from wall faucet to pressure washer. We go right there. Okay. And then this connects to the faucet. Let me double check. That can't connect to the faucet. All right, so I figured out what the problem is. No problem is, I just didn't look in here. In here is the actual part that come with the pressure washer. And the only part I really needed was this part in here. So this part connects to this. And then this connects in here. Don't care. Hello? Speaking. How you doing? Good, thanks. Yep. That's perfect. Thanks, man. That's a phone call saying my cabinet is here. Yeah! This goes to the faucet. From the faucet, this connects right here. Wonderful. There are two sides. There are there is a swivel side and a non-swivel side. Here's the swivel side and here's the non-swivel side. Since there's a swivel on the actual wand itself, this swivel side goes to the pressure washer. This side goes to the wand. Oh, this is gonna be so nice. And then, foam cannon away. All right, now pressure wash away. Hashtag winning. Right. So, that's the kit. Um, these were the original wand and hose that came with the pressure washer. Uh, do they work? I'm sure they work. Uh, are these much better? You can just visually see and feel. This is a Mosmatic uh, wand here. All these uh, connections, this hose is 50 times heavier and um, it's a 50 foot. I, I assume this is a 20 foot. But this is the setup here. So I will be cleaning a car every now and then. Oh, one thing I did see is I put this on backwards. So I will fix that quick. Um, but it is nice that I can have quick connects. Jeez, this stuff is heavy. I probably should have got um, updating software for your remote. It'll take about five minutes and you won't be able to use it till it's done. Sorry about that. I should have got the, the wall crank. But you live and learn.
So I'm gonna go hook it up. So here we go. I need to get a, a splitter there so I can have that connected and uh, that connected. I have a 15 degree, 25 degree, and a 45 degree. So all the degrees on there. That actually fits perfect there. Uh, and this uh, wand clips into the current wand holder. So that's nice. So I'm just going to turn it on and uh, see how it goes. So it all seems to work great. Uh, nice little setup. Now to put it away, must be pretty simple. Uh, there's a foot off button here. Let the pressure out. Disconnect. I will disconnect this as well because it just fits. Let the water drain out. Fits perfectly right here. This clips right there. And voila. Just got to find a place to hang this and put that and we're all set. So thanks for tuning in today. Uh, seems like a good pressure washer. The pressure washer is only 150 bucks, but with the upgrades that Obsessed Garage has done, it's about a $600 setup. I will let you know how it goes. It wasn't uh, the cheapest option, but it's a good option, I think. So thanks again for tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or if you want to see something else, let me know and we'll go from there. Thanks again.